tragedy in Nepal as at least 67 people are killed in a plane crash near the city of Pokhara. Russia has unleashed a new wave of major attacks on Ukraine hitting infrastructure across the country and killing at least a dozen of people in the city of Dnipro. U.S. President Joe Biden's lawyers found five more pages of classified documents at his personal residence on the same day a special counsel was appointed to investigate the matter. At least 67 people have died after a 72-seat passenger aircraft crashed in Nepal. Video showed plumes of smoke billowing from the crash site as rescue workers and crowds of people gathered around the wreckage of the aircraft. Nepalese soldiers were also involved in the rescue efforts at the crash site. The plane was flying from the capital, Kathmandu, to Pakara, the gateway to the Anandpurna circuit, a popular hiking trail in the Himalayas. It was not immediately clear what caused the plane to crash. In total, it was carrying 68 passengers and four crew members, according to the Kathmandu Post. Nepal is home to eight of the world's 14 highest mountains, including Mount Everest, and has a history of air crashes. Russia launched a new wave of major attacks on Ukraine, hitting energy infrastructure across the country and killing at least a dozen people in a missile strike on this nine-story building in the city of Dnipro. The Ukrainian president called for more help from the international community. Is it possible to stop the Russian terror? Yes, it is, said Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, calling the international community to send more weapons to Ukraine. In the northeastern Kharkiv region, the governor said two Russian missiles hit critical infrastructure. No casualties have been reported, but emergency power cuts in the city and around were possible, the official said. Much of Ukraine is now under an emergency blackout after missiles hit power infrastructure in several cities. Lawyers for U.S. President Joe Biden found more classified documents than previously known at his home in Delaware on Saturday. A special counsel is investigating the president's handling of the files, which relate to his time as Barack Obama's vice president. He's restored independence in the Department of Justice. That's what we're doing here. When we're saying we're going to refer you to the Department of Justice, that is restoring independence as it, as it relates to issues like this. And that is important to the president. And it's been consistent. What I am saying about about investigations has been consistent for the last two years. You've heard me over and over again when it comes to a legal issue or a matter like this, uh, we have always referred to the Department of Justice. So there's nothing here, uh, different here. These documents are in addition to the discovery of others found in December in Biden's garage and in November at his former office. It comes during an ongoing investigation into former President Donald Trump's own alleged mishandling of classified files. Peru has declared a state of emergency in the capital, Lima, as well as several other regions, following demonstrations against President Dina Bulurate. The measure will be in force for 30 days, giving the army more powers to maintain order, as well as suspending certain liberties, such as freedom of movement and assembly. At least 42 people have died in the country over the past five weeks. Demonstrators are demanding Bularate's resignation and that fresh elections be held. Tens of thousands of Portuguese teachers and school staff marched onto the streets of the capital, Lisbon, to demand higher wages and better working conditions. Protesters held banners and shouted slogans as they demanded the education minister step down, claiming the government has done little to improve their situation. The demonstrators say their current wages are too low, especially given the cost of living crisis.